Hello there, and welcome back to the Cargo Bay Set Guide. We are jumping into a new movie. Uh, today we have got 1980 top Star Wars The Empire Strikes Back Series 1. This is cards 1 through 132 and stickers 1 through 33. Woo. Holy samoles, it's a massive set. I'm Brady C, here with my co-host as always. Adam B. How's it going, BC? Ooh, I'm telling you, I'm buried under the weight of all of these Empire Strikes Back cards from Series 1 that we've got here. Yeah, we, we thought about doing all of Empire uh, cards as one video, and I'm glad we Ooh. didn't because the <laughs> set is big and wild. Yeah, it is ginormous. Uh, so obviously the, the original Star Wars movie cards came in sets of 66. You know what Empire Strikes Back said? You know, New Hope was great, but this is bigger. This is better. Let's do 132 cards. Let's do 33 stickers. Wow. Okay. Yeah, there's a, not playing around. There's a lot to like here, BC. Um, yeah. Just off the top, this set is far less valuable in general than original Star Wars cards. Uh, less sought after. Um, you know, a lot of people out there in the Star Wars fandom, Empire Strikes Back is their favorite movie, hands down. Mm -hmm. But these cards yep. are are not as popular, I would say. Uh, so yep. probably by the virtue of not being the first, and also. Um, just not quite as iconic of a design. Um, I like the way these cards look. They're growing on me, but mm -hmm. they don't. I don't think they've got anything on that classic blue Starfield from '77 uh, overall. I'll say. I I think I think you're spot on with your uh, your analysis there. Yeah, I mean, uh, I do love Empire Strikes Back. So the images, of course, I'm always fond of because it's it is my favorite Star Wars movie which is interchangeable with New Hope on any given day. But uh, at the moment, I'd say Empire. So, you know, going through the 132 cards, there are, of course, cool images from the set, but definitely not as valuable, not as iconic. Uh, but that being said, there are some valuable cards uh, that we yes. can look into. If you want to hit next on the slide, we'll highlight some of those here. We've got the Star Files. Uh, so here you've got your first appearance cards, of Boba Fett, Yoda and Lando. Uh, so these Very these cool. do catch a, a, a fair price and in, in high grade as they are, you know, sort of the first appearance of these characters. And it's kind of an interesting way to start the set. So uh, on the on the first slide there, there is like a title card, right? There's like an intro to the set card. Yeah, and then yeah. cards two through 11 uh, are going to be the the star file set, which is more of like a character card. So it's, it reads is almost like an insert, but it's part of the base set numbering, but they do have a distinct star file border. For your Rolodex? Gotta say, <laughs> your your yeah. uh, file cabinet? Yeah, I gotta say, I, th I like that it's a vertical, you know, character card. Not, a, I don't love the yellow strip with like typewriter font for the character name in there. Um, yeah. but I guess they're, they're kind of cool. They're niche. They're of the time, you know? Yeah. The, the font, the star file font itself, official business star file. Yeah. Like I, this seems, business. this seems like something that would have been thought up for a modern set. Like it's a big design swing. Um, yep. so I like it for that reason, but yeah, it is interesting to see, like you said, typewriter font on a star Wars card. <laughs> It's like, uh, this is obviously before we haven't seen cards. I would like to see some Star Wars cards where ev all the text is Arabesh at some point. Mm. That would be cool. That would be cool. But, uh, I, I do, I do in general like these cards. Um, yeah. For the same reasons that you said. Um, and BC, uh, I, when I was looking at these cards, saw that there is no PSA 10 graded Yoda star file. So, Ooh. which is an indicator of kind of the set in general. These cards are not easy to get high grades on. I mean, you can get an eight uh, or a nine. Tens, mm -hmm. few and far between. The print quality isn't incredible. They are frequently off-centered. And because of the design of the cards, including the star files, it is really obvious when they are off-center. Uh -huh. Uh, yeah, I do want to uh, shout out to one of our, our favorite uh, channels, Edub Rip and stuff, who does have a Lando Calrissian PSA 10 pack pulled self graded. I think one Amazing. of three in existence That's PSA beautiful. 10. 
of the Starfile cards, which is amazing. Um, again, when we talk about vintage stuff, it's all about condition and in when we're speaking of value. Um, so if you do have those higher graded versions, they do catch a higher price. These are probably, the, I would say, the most sought after because it's character style first appearance cards early in the set um and and they do look cool yeah i mean it's a good image of boba fett and it's good that yeah, lando right. with the, the cape is just perfect it's, it's a little bit of that cool. gold splash in there it looks yeah. nice you know it looks looks sharp for sure um so those are the first the first essentially like 10 cards after that title card and then uh, if you want to hit the next slide We'll see, get into sort of the base, what the base cards look like. Uh, again, big set. There are a lot of horizontal cards in here. Um, I picked, I just grabbed this image because I was like, that looks pretty sweet yeah. in terms of a, a, a horizontal card image. Um, but this is what you would expect, just your base cards um, after the star files to kind of look like. And then at the end of the set, there's kind of another inserty thing that we'll get to. Um, but this is the base card design. Uh, if you want to go to the next slide, we can see what the back looks like. Uh, so on the base cards, gone are the the puzzle backs. Uh, the puzzle is on the back of the stickers in this set. Um, I actually kind of like the color on the backs of yeah. these Empire Strikes Back cards. It's got kind of a fun little design on here. Yeah, and I like that the um, unlike the original set, the card backs are related to the front of the card. It's they talk about what's on the front of it, which <laughs> yeah. makes so much more sense and i mean the the print quality on the back of this card stock is always not great but i love that they're still putting an image on the yeah. back here like there's a lot going on here um and mm -hmm. it's a coming next of like it's, here's the next card in the set <laughs> it's fantastic that it's coming next because you got to think about it this way like most of these you're picking up like an individual pack of cards right like yeah bubblegum stand pack of cards so if you got your, you know, Leia's plan card, you did get kind of a, a sneak peek of what the next card in the set would be. So it does incentivize it like, oh, maybe I'll get another pack and hope I can get, you know, Luke with the Wampa, you know, yeah. like that, that it gives you a little bit of a sneak peek as you're like collecting all 132 of the base cards. And the uh, the text on the back, the ones that I've read are there's I haven't read anything too wild yet. You know, I'm mm -hmm. sure there are some cards out there that have some like uh -huh. uh, outdated chunks of lore or whatever. Uh -huh. There's got to be some <laughs> yeah. hidden there. Um, but generally, it's good text. And I'm sure we'll talk about it a bit more. But the titles of these cards, there are some oh. amazing titles and there are too many cards for us to cover. I, yeah. I was upset when we did our 77 sets every time there were like three or four cards where I was like, oh, so many, I forgot to talk about this I, amazing card. Yeah. Or, uh, this, that's this definitely going to be true here. has way too many cool cards for us to talk about. Um, but speaking of cool cards, if you want to hit that next slide, let's just get into some cool Ooh. cards. Um, we got the Snow Walkers. We got R2's Icy Vigil. What a name. I love <laughs> yeah. that card name. Yeah. Um, and then the misty world of Dagobah. I love this image. It's yeah. used. Uh, it's used in in several things, including like there's an international poster that uses that exact image. Uh, one of my faves of Luke with the downed X wing in the back, full flight suit, blaster in hand. Just to me, an iconic Empire Strikes Back image. There, there's very little that represents the adventure that I imagined Star Wars to be as a child more than this like yeah crashed x-wing got a blaster out lightsaber on the hip and the orange flight suit like this is yeah. everything my little boy brain like <laughs> fixated on and dreamed yeah. of this is yeah. what, who i was imagining myself to be you know uh in my backyard all the time um yeah this is one of my favorite images in star wars uh yeah it's 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 a great image it's one whenever they release the it's like the international poster set that was part of the Chrome Galaxy. Yeah, I, I snagged one of these up in a, in a green, That's of course, nice, because it yeah. had that image on there. It's like, yeah, I better get that. Um, it's just, it's just, it is such a cool image. Um, speaking of cool images, we got even more on the next slide. A gathering Ooh. of evils. Holy smokes! <laughs> a gathering of evils. Great card. Pairs nicely with <laughs> the bounty hunters. Yeah, awesome. I'm telling you that. 
that Bosque arm, it, it looks like just like a <laughs> crispy chicken strip you just want to bite right into. <laughs> it is it definitely does not look articulated. <laughs> no, at all. <laughs> uh, and then Calrissian's main man. Just how, how could we not include that? Uh, amazing. I mean... <laughs> I can't think of a greater honor than being Calrissian's main man. Lobot has some a fantastic expanded universe, you know, lore behind him. Uh, but yeah, Calrissian's main man, great card. And, and he looks happy to be Calrissian's main <laughs> man too, which is my favorite thing. It's just the juxtaposition uh, is uh, staggering. Um, yeah. Let's let's continue on with some more cool cards. And I got to say, so what's the ordeal with Han Solo? <laughs> Sorry, BC. We had a little. This has been happening with these slides sometimes where the text just levitates oh. <laughs> up off the slide. So the text has, has levitated on this card. I'm sorry, everybody. Yeah, it says, so what's the ordeal with the with Han Solo? The, or, the, the ordeal with Han Solo is he's being tortured. <laughs> classic star wars ordeal. This, <laughs> this is a is big ordeal movie for him, number so. two torture scene number two yeah if we do we do we have tor torture and return of the jedi i mean some like light psychological torture maybe yeah yeah i mean we do, <laughs> we do have lightning torture i guess yeah just for fun yeah. um yeah. phantom menace uh don't believe there is. Uh, we do have the remnants of torture in episode two. Um, wish me. Episode three, <laughs> do we have torture? <laughs> anyway. I'll, I'll I mean, watching Anakin Skywalker melt into the, the oh, yeah. <laughs> flaming rivers of Mustafar is pretty rough. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, uh, Obi-Wan could have just put him out of his misery, but decided to let him suffer the one of the worst pains you can imagine. Um, episode seven, we do have torture. Um, yeah, you got that Kylo Ren. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I don't know that uh, we've seen torture quite so effectively captured as we have in The Ordeal. Love that that title. BC, I told yeah. you I want this card taped to my tombstone. Um, <laughs> just, you know, what a great summary of life. <laughs> the, ordeal. <laughs> the Ordeal. It's like just a great, a great title for a torture card. What an ordeal. You know, I guess really going through it. Uh, I, I love uh, it took me years before I heard the line when he comes back from being tortured where Han's like, they didn't even ask me any questions. It's dark, <laughs> it's, man. It's so, good. it's so dark. <laughs> One of my favorite that line, things in all of Star They didn't even ask me any questions. <laughs> they just tortured me. It's really good. Every, everyone go back and watch Empire just for that line because it does make it so sinister. Yeah, it um, hits pretty hard. It, it definitely hits hard. Uh, a little bit darker than A New Hope. Uh, I did include the search for Vader because you talk about a little little corridor, a little sci-fi yeah. corridor. That's my favorite one right there. It's beautiful. I've seen Love a lot of it. I've seen this card signed by Mark Hamill before. Great. Great card for a signature. Uh, and then Dark Lord of the Sith. The color on this card yeah. and the lines on it. I, I'll, I told you before we recorded, I went out and bought it immediately. <laughs> I was like, I got to add that one. Um, so, yeah, cool. I, I did grab the Dark Lord of the Sith. I think that card is fantastic. Yeah, um, awesome. So those were those were just a smattering of cool horizontal cards. We got some uh, we got some verticals uh, coming up next under more cool cards. Um, we've got welcome young Luke uh, with an exclamation point. Of course, Yoda shouting, and he's also shouting at him to use the Force as he's uh, <laughs> doing a handstand there too. <laughs> yeah. uh, I know that's his backpack. I guess uh, it looks <laughs> like he's just sitting next to a pair of Luke's pants. <laughs> These are my blue jeans. Um, <laughs> These blue jeans, they are. Um, and then the sound of terror. There is, I will say, a not insignificant amount of Hoth cards in this set because yeah. it's a giant portion of the movie. But there are a lot of snowy images uh, in this set. Uh, and I did like the sound of terror. Again, anytime yeah. I can get a good image of like something that was handmade in a Star Wars trading card, I'm like, yeah, 
I'm into it. I thought this one had a nice, nice Star Wars set piece in it. Yeah, great costumes, great, great blaster placement there. Whatever that thing is, that gun, very cool. Um, and uh, yeah, the the vertical cards look good. Again, the centering, it's hard to get these things well centered. Um, but I I like. I do like the red outline with the the silvery back. Again, those cards aren't chromy at all. They're paper. It's a a yeah. drawn silvered effect. It is a, a a little a little special effect right there on the trading card. Uh, we get we get even more cool cards. Uh, <laughs> Darth Vader, his day of triumph, <laughs> holding on to his little belt, just feeling He's so, so good about himself. <laughs> I did it. I have frozen my son. <laughs> <laughs> I'm torturing people and chopped my son's hand off. The, Huzzah! <laughs> the lighting, uh, though, is uh, really, really great. Then a pile <laughs> of C-3PO. <laughs> what a, this one had, this, again, the names of the cards. This one had to include a pile of C-3PO. And we're still using S-E-E-3PO sometimes. Yep. Is weird. I see you, three PO. Yeah, um, yeah. <laughs> I mean, and Chewie's stance too. He's like, that's a big old pile of three PO, huh? <laughs> what are we gonna do with this pile of three PO? Um, and then a very cool IG88 and Boba Fett card. This one's fairly iconic, just in terms of of our bounty hunters that start appearing in Empire. I love um, IG88. I love that they introduce the idea of a droid who is a bounty hunter. Um, one of the great things about Star Wars, IG-88, pretty much just here. And, you yeah. know, like, I spent a lot of my childhood uh, reading about IG-88 and thinking about IG-88 uh, and battling him in Shadows of the Empire. You gotta take him down, his swift little fiend. Yeah. <laughs> um, I want to highlight on the next slide, we got some visual drop that happens yeah. in this set. These are back-to-back -back in the set. You get the dinner guess, and then you immediately reverse the shot at the other end of the table to the host of horror. <laughs> I do wish I wish the print quality were a little bit better. You know, the white on white is is hard in Cloud City on these cards. But man, that is that is an awesome image. Uh, another highlight of all of Star Wars for me is Han immediately shooting at Vader. And that that card is. In the set, you see you see him taking his pot shot at Vader. Uh, I remember when I first saw the movie, asking my parents, "Does Vader have armor? Like, what? How did he stop the late? Like, I was a little confused as to how Vader just stopped those laser blasts." Yeah. Now we know it's because he's got the Force, of course. He used he used the Force, and as a matter of fact, yeah. Um, and then I get a little little visual drama from. Probably the most iconic scene in Star Wars. Um, you get the embrace the dark side, hate me, Luke, destroy me. <laughs> Which Love is that. Not a line that he says. No. Uh, at least maybe it's in uh, a script somewhere. But uh, yeah, I love that. <laughs> It, this is like, uh, you know, Vader's cutting his his uh, hardcore album, his emo album. Yeah, you, you got to imagine that that at a certain point, Lucasfilm was like, just don't put that he's his father on, you know, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> kind of kind of spoils it. So just yeah. leave that out. It is a shame that I don't I, do. We don't have that moment on a card, maybe by series two or three. We'll find out when we get there. Yeah. But up to this point, no, this this is what is used as the dialogue in there is the embrace the dark side and hate me, Luke, destroy me. One of the greatest sets ever created. Uh, great stuff. Yep. Stickers. Hey, and what I have to say about this is just who doesn't love the alphabet? It's just the alphabet. Now, I was trying to figure out if the letters corresponded to the images, you know, the images court wedge is on the W, which is okay. barely a W, um, mm -hmm. but Chewbacca is on the I. <laughs> so I, you know, I, they're just, uh, and I, I couldn't, I don't know. Anyway, if you're a kid, you can spell your name. If you buy enough card packs, I guess was probably the, the impulse here or the, 
I think the the stronger impulse would have been to spell words that you're not supposed to say out loud. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, good point. Um, the letters... Which I'm sure none of our viewers would have done. I know you're all better than that. You wouldn't have you wouldn't have spelled out those dirty words. I know. I know you all better than that. That's a great if you if you indeed use these stickers to spell something, please leave a comment. Oh, please let uh, us know. <laughs> like and if you have like images of it, too. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, this is I, I like these because it feels of a time, you know, yeah. it feels like it like. A, I, but I, I, I don't have a great desire to collect these. I'll say I am much. I more... have no desire to collect <laughs> these. I'll say. <laughs> I am interested in these other stickers, though, because I, I do you remember the little quarter machines where you would get a paper oh. sleeve that had a sticker <laughs> in it, usually a foil? I got a lot of football helmets. Yeah, you know? oh, I know. Like, I know what you're talking about. I was I loved getting those as a kid. I loved the whole process of the thing coming out and seeing what it yeah. was. Um, And I collected those stickers and I usually didn't stick them. I kept them in the little papers and I just treated them like trading cards. So the these other character stickers, I do really like these. Um, and we might be talking about some PSA slabs in a little bit. I'll say these Ooh. stickers I saw in some SGC slabs, uh, they look really nice on that in a in a black slab. So maybe someday when I have money again, I might <laughs> might try to get the the stormtrooper and IG eighty eight or uh I also really like the boss or sorry, yeah, the boss, the medical droid and the lobot combo. Yeah. <laughs> That they are cool. I I I genuinely the the letters. I just am like it's cool that there's an image inside of the letter, but I'm like, eh. yeah, um, yeah. Some of the other more character ones are are pretty cool. And on the backs of these is is where you would put your puzzle together. Um, but if we want to move on to what maybe one of the coolest things about this is that we've got space paintings by Ralph McQuarrie. This yeah in the main set. This is my this is the highlight of all of the Empire Strikes Back stuff for me. Yeah. Um, I would really like to have all of these someday. Um, yeah. Uh, maybe in a decent grade. I uh, Ralph McQuarrie is to me the MVP of of Star Wars. Um, you know, Lucas is up there. Too. <laughs> you know, like, he's oh, he's okay. He's up yeah. there. <laughs> but uh, I I think without Ralph McQuarrie's involvement, I probably would not be interested in star wars at all and i will say without lucas's involvement i would have watched probably a bad movie with some really cool spaceships you know over yeah. and over again um i put the back of this card on here bc because this is 1980 this is one year after 1979 uh and the back of this first card talks about um brian johnson uh, and it mentions that he worked on 2001 a space odyssey space 1999 and alien Alien is my favorite movie of all time. Getting a shout out here on the back of uh, this Star Wars card. I love it. Pretty, pretty cool. Yeah. Um, I mean, the fact that Ralph McQuarrie gets his own basic, basically insert set in here is like, makes sense because he's, I mean, he is the reason I think Star Wars is what it is, as you were saying. I mean, George Lucas talks about, you know, he kept going because of, Ralph McQuarrie's images that he was painting for him, you know, yeah, like yeah. as he was giving him the idea, it's like, oh, I can start visualizing this now because of McQuarrie's art. Um, so McQuarrie, just, Lucas, John Williams, that's the big, that's the big three yeah. for me in Star Wars. Yeah. Um, so definitely cool. Uh, the next slide, we've got just a couple more cool McQuarrie space paintings there. You got Cloud City. You got Luke battling Darth. Awesome. Again, these these are the 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 last cards in the set, and then there's three checklist cards. I believe it's three checklist cards. Um, but just cool three that there's checklists. there are kind of like, yeah, you, it's big, a big set. checklist, <laughs> big set. Um, it is cool that there uh, there are basically two insert sets kind of within the actual base set, right, with yeah. the star file and then the space paintings, and of course you got your stickers too. But you know you can kind of start to see how it's the sets are transitioning from. From the original movies, you're seeing some new designs entered into the actual set itself, which will, of course, become uh, inserts and chase things down the line. But it's just kind of cool to see that they were introducing new things, introducing new designs in addition to, you know, just the base set, which was massive. So it would have been a cool to, hey, oh, I've got a space painting 
that looks a little bit different than you know my Leia's plan or whatever. Yeah, yeah, and I do, I do like um, the kind of uh, quaint hand drawn aesthetic of the mm -hmm. borders on these. Um, yeah, I, I, I like everything about these these cards. Again, hard to get them centered, and boy, oh boy, do I want them centered. Uh, yeah, because, <laughs> because especially it's a border inside of a border. Uh, yeah, but uh, yeah, these are cool. Um, and I is that the is that the end of our slides? We see no. We got we got one more. Space slabs. I just wanted to yeah. put some PSA slabs up because for me, uh, this series one with the red border, uh, really looks nice matching a red PSA slab. Yeah. Uh, looks like they were made for each other. And it does hand and glove right here. You know, it's just, it's just a nice, nice look aesthetically. And uh, that weapon of light card, I also wanted to highlight. Uh, love a pointy lightsaber. Um, yeah, that's a just pointy boy right there. Ahsoka, RIP to pointy lightsabers. We're firmly back in the territory of rounded lightsabers. I understand it. It's classic. I like a nice pointy episode three lightsaber. And I really like this just, <laughs> just needle point drawn on oh Darth Vader here. He looks like he came right out of the sewing shop with yeah, that thing. Yeah, it's so pointy. It, yeah, <laughs> it sure does. Um, but yeah, cool cards. Cool cards, great set. A lot of them uh, affordable is what I would say about yeah. these. It's they're, which you know, the, in terms of value, I think it's it's value to collectors, right? It's it's affordable. It's stuff you can have. You can pick up full base sets for a relatively inexpensive amount which is probably what I'll end up doing just because I, I love Empire Strikes Back and, you know, I hate would, would it, love to, you can have yeah, you, you famously are just like, stinker. What an awful It's a stinker. <laughs> um, yeah, but, you know, okay. flipping through the binder through some of these images is, is pretty cool. Um, again, it's, it's always one of my favorite things to do whenever we put these together is just going through all the stuff that's out there and, and seeing those images. Um, so hope you all enjoyed it. Uh, if, if you did, let us know. Like, subscribe, do the things. If I may, BC, before we're out of here, um, packs of this are still relatively expensive. Um, mm. And I think part of the reason why is there are a lot of cards that don't have a PSA 10 graded, mm. you know, um, which is if you're a higher end collector than I, maybe that's part of the fun of chasing some of the cards in yeah. this less collectible quote unquote less desirable set is like maybe right. you wind up pulling the first PSA ten um of you know one of the Starfile Yoda. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I think there are a couple. I think there are a couple in series one that don't have a ten. Um but there are there are there do seem to be a lot of nines for most of them. Uh yeah. Anyway. Uh yeah. Uh, back to the the outro I derailed, sorry BC. <laughs> Sorry. Anyway, this is the end of the video. <laughs> uh, no, thanks for uh, thanks for checking checking out our Empire Strikes Back set guide for uh, series one of Empire. We'll be back next week with some series two uh, as we continue our journey through the sets. You always go back, check the ones that we've already done. Um, again, like, subscribe, send us a comment, let us know what your favorite card is, uh, and until next time. Have a fantastic day. And whenever you're ready for a shoot, I got you. Shoot. I definitely nailed that, BC. Yeah. Shh, be <laughs> quiet, everybody. Don't leave a comment. Shh.